hour. The investigation into the Leo Frigo bridge, bridge sagging now continues to focus on what caused that one pier, Pier 22, to settle about two feet. And they're still trying to figure it out. The Department of Transportation this afternoon didn't really provide any answers on what repairs will be needed. Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz was there and joins us now live from near the bridge. Ben, what's being done right now? Well, Michelle, a team of inspectors was formed this morning to tackle what has become a new issue for the DOT. That team is made up of national experts along with state, local, and regional engineers. Now, let's take a look at this video that was provided by the DOT of crews inspecting the bridge. You can see the dip in the highway. One thing the team has determined is the settled pier, number 22, hasn't sunk any farther into the ground. On its north end, the pier is down 22 inches from where it should be and 27 inches on its south end. Inspectors have been taking readings every six hours. They also haven't found any movement in the adjacent piers. DOT officials still don't know how long they'll monitor the piers before taking any sort of action. We've already got several national experts on site from Federal Highway and they've committed to providing whatever additional resources we might need. The idea is to look at the bridge, find out what's wrong, make sure it's stable, come up with a plan to fix it, and then fix it. Also a quick traffic update for you here. The DOT's uh, traffic engineer told me this afternoon that last night's commute and this morning's commute went smoothly. They're still asking people, avoid all the highways if you can, take the city streets if that's possible for you. For now, we're reporting live in Green Bay, Ben Krumholz, Fox 11 News.